Pre-diabetes can certainly be a big wake-up call. In fact, the CDC says that more than one out of three million American diabetes may have pre-diabetes, and many of us just don't even know it. So here to tell us more about the risk, Donetta Floyd. She's a registered dietitian with Cone Health Nutrition and Diabetes Education Services. Good morning to you, Donetta. Good morning. So this is something where we can be living our lives and be pre-diabetic and have no idea. That's, that's a scary thing for a lot of people, right? Yes, ma'am. What is prediabetes? What does that actually mean medically? So prediabetes is when you have a blood glucose level that's higher than normal, but not quite high enough to be diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. So why does it matter that we do something about it? Can't I just kind of go ahead and keep living my life and say, oh, don't worry about it? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, Melissa, you cannot. No. Good question, though. So with prediabetes, you can totally... Um, prevent it from being diagnosed with type 2 diabetes um, by making some healthy lifestyle changes. Um, and there's simple, consistent changes that you can do. Um, try adding in some extra physical activity. Um, it, trying to aim for at least 30 minutes a day, five days a week would be ideal of like moderate activity. Also to having a wide variety of fruits and vegetables in your diet, protein options, calcium rich foods, as well as whole grains would be some changes that can be made. And those are really things that are important for us to do always for general health, right? Prediabetes, is that something that can already be hurting us even before it turns into full-blown type 2 diabetes? Does it cause problems on our body already? Well, prediabetes, there are no clear symptoms of that. Okay. So you'll, it's very ideal that you visit your primary care physician on a regular basis um, because they'll know the correct test to run for it mm -hmm. um, so that you'll know if you have it or not because other than that, you may not know that you have it. If you're someone who is overweight, if you have a, a high BMI, high cholesterol, could those be things that in combination be indicative of maybe being pre-diabetic? Yes, those things certainly increase your risk. So having a certain BMI, BMI meaning body mass index mm -hmm. of 25 or greater. Okay. Also to certain races and ethnicities increase your risk. So African American, Latino, Asian American, also to um, having a family history of diabetes can increase your risk as well. Age can increase your risk. So being at age of 45 or higher, but also if you're less than the age of 45 and also having those risk factors that you mentioned, such as high cholesterol, high blood pressure, and having a BMI of 25 or greater, increase your risk. So that's why the ongoing conversation with your physician is so important, right? Correct. Talk to them, make sure you're being tested properly and know those numbers. We focus so much on our clothing size, right? There's some other numbers that are really important too. Yes, ma'am. And so when your primary care provider tests you, because that's the only way that you'll know if you're pre-diabetic or not, mm -hmm. is through a blood test. So there are certain numbers that you want to look for when you have those tests done. Um, pre-diabetic ranges for one test, one of the tests is of fasting blood glucose test. Mm -hmm. So having a number between 100 and 125 is the pre-diabetic range there. Okay. Also, if you have an A1C test done, having a number between 5.7 and 6.4 okay. is indicative of pre-diabetes. And lastly, a oral glucose tolerance test, having a number between 140 and 199 okay. is indicative All of right, wonderful. Donetta, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. it. It's important. A lot of people have it and don't know it. And that's why this is Diabetes Awareness Month. And this Wednesday, Pre-Diabetes is World Diabetes Day. If you'd like to learn more, Donetta has a video called Pre-Diabetes, How to Reduce the Risk of Developing Diabetes. It's available starting tomorrow online at conehealth.com slash wellness dash on dash demand. And you can also find out more through classes, seminars. You can learn about those at conehealth.com slash diabetes. House Call on Fox 8 is sponsored by Cone Health.